welcome back this is answering your comments by 2im so now we'll go to youtube.com slash 2im cat our cat channel so, so definitely have a look at this we are introducing a new testing product called test dojo we have fabulous questions with detailed solutions probably several thousand questions probably four thousand five thousand odd questions to get you game ready for cat definitely try it out the link will be available in the description now we are looking to answer questions from comments i am getting to this video cat 2019 how to prepare from july so i am searching for a specific comment uh, by one aparna purohit right so so i started preparing for cat few days back and math has never been my cup of tea so cracking quant section will be a tough challenge for me since i completed my 12th from commerce stream uh, scored good marks 89.98 almost 90 percentage not been in contact with math for a very long time what do you think should be my strategy for preparing for quants what topic should i focus on more okay there are two things that we are worrying about so started preparing for cat and okay the first idea that you need to remember very clearly is that uh, if you are from commerce stream you have not taken math after 10th standard you are at no disadvantage uh, engineers are definitely not at an advantage they might have been stayed in touch with math but that is not what cat is being tested cat tests only basic math high school math so this is definitely not putting you at a disadvantage at all so remember that have that very clearly your preparation strategy per se does not change much your preparation strategy is same as how everybody else prepares for quants. So you learn your basics, you do lot of drill or practice and then you take lot of marks, find your gaps, fix your gaps. These are, this is the, exactly the same strategy. You will also feature a video link on the top left, sorry, top right I guess. So you click on that, pause this video, go there and watch that video if you want to know how to prepare for quant section. But essentially the one liner is that your takeaway is there is no difference in strategy for a non-engineering versus an engineering student per se. The first idea. Now, <coughs> uh, what topic should I focus more? Start with arithmetic. Don't jump into number theory. Don't, don't jump into permutation probability. These are topics that require more attention, more details and uh, more practice. So don't jump into tougher topics. Start with simpler topics. Topics like percentages, profit and loss, linear quadratic equation, time speed distance mixtures, ratio proportions, all of these are fairly simpler topics, but th these are more relatable topics. You can't relate a root 3, root 3, root 3, root of 3. That question does not, it takes time to comprehend that question, but uh, two people starting from, one person starting from Bangalore, another person starting from Chennai, traveling towards each other, at the same time, they both traveling at different speeds. Uh, it does not take, uh, it is not rocket science in figuring out that. If they meet somewhere in between, they both would have covered different distances because they both travel at different speeds. But when they meet, the time is going to be same. It's just common sense. You get that idea right. There is going to be more than enough. All the topics in the what we call as arithmetic are the ideas that can be relatable to real life. Start off there. It also gives you good uh, good. Uh, ego boost in a way where you solve a lot of questions you understand the ideas well you are setting the pace for your entire cat prepare you say hey i think i've covered eight topics i'm good to go i have tried a lot of questions i've practiced questions and i am reasonably good at that now with that confidence i'll move on to tougher topics that will take you places so one liner engineer or non-engineer does not make any difference at all best wishes for cat prep <laughs>